Hello guys, my name is Anna and I vlog daily from Ukraine since the start of brutal Russian invasion. So please subscribe if you want to follow the updates from my country during these challenging times and it is also a good way to demonstrate your solidarity with Ukraine. Today I want to speak about the success of Ukrainian armed forces on the territory of Russia, but I have to start with some sad news, which unfortunately have already become traditional. Russia once again targeted Ukraine with uh, 44 drones and missiles this night and 43 of them were actually stopped by Ukrainian air defense system. And we are very proud of uh, the way our allies support us with these air defense systems and also the way Ukrainians learn to use them. Because, come on, 44 targeted, 43 stopped. But this one missile caused serious destructions in one of cave enterprises and killed two people, 26 and 36 years old. These are Ukrainian realities for more than a year and a half because Russia is a terrorist state. Targeting us with cruise missiles, 28 of them tonight, how much money they actually spent in vain. And uh, approximately 15 drones, Shahed type. So I have friends who told me it was difficult to sleep tonight in Kyiv, but the majority of this evil weapons were stopped. But uh, Ukraine is getting stronger. And at the beginning of this war, it was totally impossible for Russians to imagine that they will have to use their air defense systems and of course less successfully than Ukrainians do. First of all, because they are honestly not that strong, not that smart and not that prepared as they claim to be. And this war actually demonstrated that Russian army is not the second strongest army in the world, but the second strongest in Ukraine. If you agree with me and you're not yet subscribed, please do because this helps to share more information about Ukraine. So today we celebrate another extremely important and neat victory. Uh, this night was also quite loud in Russia. Lots of Ukrainian military drones reached its territory and not just one region or just one city, but four regions were actually targeted. And uh, these are Bransk, Kursk, Oryol, if I'm not mistaken, and Belgorod. But the most important thing happened on Pskov airfield, where four Russian military uh, aircrafts were destroyed. And um, it is huge because this is expensive. All of these aircrafts are used against Ukraine to support Russian troops, to supply Russian troops. And oh my God, Pskov is really far away from Ukraine. So these drones had to fly all of this distance and they were not stopped, they were not fixed, which demonstrate Russia is vulnerable despite this image of an invincible drunk bear. So uh, Pskov is near St. Petersburg. You can imagine that's pretty far away from the borders of Ukraine and I have googled it looks like 650 kilometers at least from uh, Ukraine. And these drones traveled all of this way, most likely, of course. And once again, they did not target, as Russians do, a hospital, a school or a theater. They targeted a military airfield, destroying four aircrafts used to kill Ukrainians. And this is important because, once again, this demonstrates that we are not orcs, we are not monsters, but we are resilient and we have great uh, achievements, something that was totally unbelievable at the beginning of this war. So these four really big Il-76 uh, planes were destroyed and all of that appeared online. Russians are sharing these explosions like crazy 
uh, lots of panic in their social media. You have a lot of recordings when people are surprised how this can be happening in the 21st century, when they are surprised that they hear explosions or they see drones flying. They say it's unbelievable that interrupts them from sleeping. Come on, guys, you were interrupting Ukraine from living a year and a half. You were interrupting the world from living a normal life for a year and a half, and now you're surprised that the war has returned home. If you agree with me and you're not yet subscribed, do subscribe. But this is a universal war. Very often, in the majority of cases, war always returns home. And now it is felt in Russia. Of course, Ukraine suffers greatly. It was turned into a battlefield because of stupid Russian imperialistic invaders. But we protect our motherland and we will clean it from all the invaders. But uh, in Russia, for a really long period of time, they did not feel war at all. And believe me, all of these sanctions and clothes are shops did not influence an average Russian that much. But now, when they see this panic on social media, when they actually hear explosion, when they learn that uh, their military targets are destroyed in Russia, not even on temporarily occupied territories, they feel stress and fear. Another thing that I've noticed as a Ukrainian is they are going to have serious problems because of their censorship and the way they treat information. Let me know if you agree with me in comments, but uh, from what I have noticed, during war, we've learned them that very quickly, and now I can say Ukrainian uh, society is perhaps one of the most media literate. You don't share much information, especially about the explosions, your reactions, the places that were targeted, um, what was relocated and so on, because it can cost life. And in Russia, they are sharing it like crazy. And I saw actually a video of some teenagers who had the explosions and said, oh, we have to take bicycles and to ride that way. Russia does not care about its citizens, even children that can act totally wrong in such situation because they will hide their vulnerability. They will hide uh, these explosions, these destructions, pretending that everything is fine and thus not taking care of people and the way they should act in such situation when war returns back to their homes. Uh, also, Russian propaganda did not know how to work well with such kind of information because, come on, destroying four military aircraft far away from Ukrainian borders, close to St. Petersburg, is a problem and it's really difficult to, to show it as a victory and Russians typically like to show their failures as victories. And they started saying, especially that crazy Solovyov, I don't know if you know this propagandist, don't learn if you don't save your uh, brain. Uh, but he was saying the attack was, of course, from a NATO country, not from Ukraine, but from some of the Baltic countries. That's the only explanation. They cannot accept that Ukraine can reach them inside Russia and that Ukraine is so successful in the development and usage of drones. Because we don't have missiles like Russia does. We don't have this production facilities and our allies do not allow us to use long-range missiles, even to have this really long-range missiles and target them on Russia, even seeing that we always target military objects, only military objects, because we are not orcs. But I'm sure all of us agree that it is impossible to win this war without the destructions caused to Russian military targets. These are storages, various military institutions, uh, airfields, planes, missiles, air defense systems, as in temporarily occupied Crimea and many other examples. Once again, if you agree with me and you're not yet subscribed, subscribe and spread the word. It's so important. We still have to win this war. And, um, of course, uh, we also witness this modern war. 
something uh, that demonstrates us future has come. It's a pity that this future is connected with war, but I believe uh, most of future wars, and I'm sorry, living through this experience, I realize perhaps we will never reach the level of development on a planet when there will be no wars. So many of them will be conducted with drones and other technologies and maybe even robots fighting for us. Robots versus orcs, because orcs have millions that they are ready to sacrifice. We are not, and I hope, of course, I hope we will win this war and no more conflicts and wars will happen, but their reality is different and my experience teaches different. But anyway, finally, Russia is filling its own medicine and war always returns home. And its home is hellish, dark, miserable, dying Russian empire. Thank you so much for being supporters, subscribers, and most importantly, friends. Thank you for buying me coffees. I will drink some warm tea, got a cold again. Uh, thank you for becoming my patrons. Subscribe to my Instagram, Twitter, and threads. All the links are below this video. Also introduce yourself to our merch if you're interested in t-shirts and hoodies and other stuff for autumn. And most importantly, speak about Ukraine, protect it in conversations, persuade those who doubt because Russia is a global enemy and it must be stopped. It will not stop by itself. And we are doing our best. Hopefully many more military targets will be destroyed soon in Russia. And one really important military target that moves from a bunker to bunker. I mean, Putin or Putins, we never know how many of them exist. Once again, thank you for your support and understanding and Slavo Ukraina.